Hello. In this video, I want to cover some common questions about how exact apply nozzle bodies work. So if we were looking at this mounted on the sprayer, the clamp goes towards the front. The solenoid that's on the left is solenoid A, solenoid on the right is solenoid B, and then we have nozzles numbered around the entire turret. You'll note they're, no, they're numbered at the top, so I have one through six. You'll see that four, five, and six here are taller. Uh, so number six here is right next to number one. You'll notice that it's ported taller, and I'll go over that in a little bit internally. In this example, I have an 06 nozzle on number one, and I have a 10 on number four. So if we're spraying in a, uh, say, normal configuration going through the field, I can spray out of nozzle one through solenoid A and spray out of my 06 with a push of a button, I could flip the solenoid B and be spraying out of my number 10 nozzle in the back, or I can spray out of both of them combined for an effective 16 nozzle, and it'll pulse back and forth between the two at 30 hertz. Each solenoid is capable of 15 hertz max pulsing and a gallon and a half per minute, 1.5, out of the actual solenoid bodies. When I open up the turn, you'll notice at the front, we'll have two holes, two ports, and on the rear, we're only going to have one, and it's on the top. When we look inside at our turn, you're looking at number one right now, right here. There's only one hole, and it's on the bottom. When I get around to four, five, and six, there's two ports for each of those, top and bottom. So if you can imagine that, when we have this on in this situation, and I have my 06 or nozzle one in the front, it's only ported at the bottom, so only the flow from the bottom solenoid can flow out of this nozzle. And this is ported with two ports inside the turn body, but internally here on the nozzle body, it's only ported at the top. So I can only get that flow out of that nozzle when I do it that way. But if I would rotate this around and have four, five, or six in the front, now I'm going to get the flow from both solenoids through one nozzle, and it can't possibly come out of the rear because the rear is only ported at the bottom on the turn body and only ported at the top on the actual nozzle body. So when we switch it around to this mode, I can get the flow out of both solenoids, so in a gallon and a half each, three gallon a minute total, 15, pulse, 15 hertz pulsing both, so I can get 30 hertz pulsing out of one single nozzle. When you flip it around or configure it with number four, five or six in the front virtually on the screen, it's automatically going to go to A and B combined and know that's how you want to spray. And that's when you're doing higher rates, uh, when you want to side dress, do things like that, you know, 40, 50 gallon that you want to put down. And that's going to put all the flow out of both solenoids through both of those holes into one single nozzle. Any other configuration where I have one, two, or three in the front, it's going to want the smaller nozzle to always be in the front, or you can run two of the same nozzle and then run them combined. But it's always going to spray either A, B, or A and B combined, but it's going to come out of both nozzles. So I hope that clarifies a few things, that a lot of common questions I get about exact apply nozzle bodies and how you need to configure them virtually on the screen and physically back on the boom. Thank you.